Hello folks and welcome back to Corp Farms. We're in March and it is a wonderful day because we're in March. Spring is here so we can go and cut our grass. We've got two rollers over here. We've got the field roller and the mulcher roller. There's a reason for that. We'll get to that in a sec. But over the winter, heading to spring, uh, sometime in February I think it was, we did have an offer from the deer ship on this. This is a class 930 and it is used, it's not brand new or anything. If we hop in here, 25.7 hours it has done. This is ours. And the reason why we was able to get this, because it was at like 60% off, so what we've done is Took the old 850 down, trade that in, sold it, and we got this. Also, in between episodes, we've done a couple of contracts. I think really it was like two contracts we did, two seeding, well, one planting, and one seeding contract. One was for cotton on field 14, and then wheat was one of the other fields, I can't remember which one it was. May include some clips, I mean not. If I do, I do, I don't, I don't. But yeah, we've got a lot of work to do today. Actually, we should have got the mulcher first of all, not this, but. Oh, we'll come back from the dealership, so it's not too much of an issue. It's been fully serviced and that, so. I'm looking forward to that. And the reason why we got this is because. This is 355 horsepower. And that is going to be pretty much as much of a horsepower we're going to need for a while. This is our permanent long term tractor. I doubt we'll trace in any ways for a bigger tractor. Did have an offer for a Rush, Rush Smash articulated tractor, but that wasn't my thing. Mainly because we needed a powerful tractor if I was going to trade it in. Also, I think with 3 point leakage at the front and rear. I see we got all of our stuff over here ready. Because it's time to get a cut of grass. So we'll park this up here. Won't block the access for anyone who wants to use the bakery. Or the green mill, sorry. But here is the thing. Well, I came on. Looks like this field. See there? 50% fertilized. This had no fertilizer on. That's our March. First week of March, so we came across and put a application down. But that should have been fully fertilized. That was like 98% yield expectancy, so no idea what went on there. A bit annoyed actually, because we're going to lose some potential. But the Verities was able to get that first application of furrows down. I think going forward, we need to keep an eye on this. So, back up. There we go. Check if he's on, all the hoses. Yep. And the reason why we've got the planter here is because we're going to convert this field into field beans. So, as he wants to mow this, we will mulch. We will fertilize, we will plant, well, cultivate, plant, roll, and then fertilize again. So, hopefully, we should have a full application of fertilizer. But I will keep an eye on it because I don't want that happen again. First of all, we make sure it is swath dropping. First cut of our field grass. And it's going to be our first and only cut. Obviously, we're still hoping on getting the farming out. I'm still aiming for Court Farms Country Park because I just have a field over there. And we can use that as a potential grass field for silage. But whether or not we can get a loan out, I'm not sure. 
that's one of the things we're going to have to look into. Well, sometimes it's month free, but an application on the bank. It may take a few days, it may take a couple of weeks. That's all we go. A bit of a big issue though. Obviously, the farm itself is 300 grand. And we still need all the equipment, like mulchers, rollers, and that. And the roller, like the ones we're using there, cost 40 grand. Obviously, we can just have the one roller. I then purchase the mulcher bit separately, keep that bit in storage. And then whenever we swap, we can just stick it down to the dealership or something, swap the rollers out for the mulcher rollers or something like that. That's an option for us. We can press everything seed. Careful. We were smashing the fences down. So that's going to be the aim for today. Let's go and turn that back at the times three speeds. Okay. What's happened last time I thought I think it was where it didn't cut certain bits. I'm not sure why. I had a message from the we didn't have access to the sand or anything. No, it was a bit peculiar. So what we'll do is we'll do the headland, then we'll go up and down here, like in the position we're doing now. Then we'll windrow it, do the usual, windrow it, forge it. Because that's time we got three and a bit low, so it was at 100, 150,000 litres, so which is just one application of fertilizer. Interesting to see. How much of a difference it is, you know, planted grass and all that. But yeah, so anyways, we will continue on this. Get us all done. And then I'll, I'll see you folks once we start. I think it was when we start actually forging it. Get a comparison now. And see where we stand.
There we go, we have our first load of signage, or to be signage. As you notice, we spent seven grand, so five grand on this, the bond-sized pump. And at a bargain price, just a quid for a litre. That is cheap compared to what the dealership are charging us. Three grand almost, just for 60 litres. And then two grand to get the additive tank here, get that fitted on. So, also, we're going to spend a couple of hundred quid at most on leasing that or borrowing that front loader. Not front loader, wheel loader from the dealership again. So, I think that will work out quite well with this. So I'm thinking if we do this, I've got no idea if we've got more signage from this or more grass from this or not. Aussie with the additive, you should get about a 5% bonus. So that would mean we've got 175,000 years that sign. That should mean we should get around the ballpark of 183,000 years. And anything extra is purely from it being field grass, not meadow grass. As well as all the stuff we've done to it. Well, stuff that we did to it, that registered, so everything besides from the fertilizing. But yeah, so I thought I'd just quickly mention that. So it's four o'clock already. I may have to wait for the size till tomorrow. But at the very least, I want to get this picked up. And I want to get this field seeded with field beans. If I have to wait till next week, then you know what? That is fine by us. But sooner the better get in. Yeah, that's just me personally, but if you run out of daylight, we run out of daylight. So, anyways. I'll finish this off, bar the wheel loader or whatever, and then we'll go from there. And there we go with the last little bit of this being picked up. This is load number four. And it is less than what we had before, so I'm guessing the meadow grass was I don't know, fully fertilized. It must have been because this doesn't make sense. We had 175,000 euros or something on signage. Or was it 135? 135, 155. No, it was like 150 actually. It was almost a full fourth load for a pull, but. Regardless, it is less than what we've got now, so that's a problem. We've got 126,000 litres in there at the moment, plus another 2,800 litres. Anyways, luckily we didn't have to lease out the our wheel loader because I've been doing the compaction myself. So if you go around and compact in this, just quick done a another load, but this is 76% compacted, not too bad. And all we just do is go back and forwards. There we go. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Man, that's filled up very quickly. Let's try to get it as smooth as possible. But yeah, it's weird that we didn't get anything from that in comparison to last time. Oh. Actually, it quite annoys me quite a bit actually. Because technically, we did work. But uh, anyways, it is what it is. Can't complain. We well, can't complain, but so point complaining. So, uh, there we go. Yeah, just back you up. 
Harvested, We've got the first application of furrows down already. So now, all that's really needs to be done is just go over it and hopefully, this makes a difference. Texture's different. That's what we're looking for. To be mulched. So we need to do this. Cultivate it. And then start doing seeding if we can. But we are using daylight. Maybe we're into the dark. What? Beans. Now 
should get up with this in one go. One tree, as I see that. Damn sure implements one. There we go. So doing the heaven is going to be a more difficult task just because of the type. find those weeders <clears throat> as part of the grimy pack 19 grand for a six meter one yeah that's better but I think we'll stick with spraying so we're looking at at least 39 grand or let's get these two for 27 grand yeah, I think we will borrow those for now. Buy them. One do hit. There we go, that's good. See so, yeah, we just hit something. Come on. Come on. What are we hitting? Can we get a chainsaw sack? So not <laughs> we'll leave like that out here. We will finish this off, get the rolling done, and then that's trying to think what else needs to be done before April. I don't think much, so we'll go and see where we sat afterwards.
But as you may have noticed, we've gone down 77 grand. And that's the reason for that, because some interesting used equipment has popped up in the dealership. And I thought, you know what, we need these pieces of equipment. One's a plow, and one is a mulcher slash roller, with different configurations available for free. So that's one thing to say was getting one of those rollers and mulchers and funny enough one popped up in the used market so you know what I thought we didn't need that so just go ahead and buy it obviously all this is expensive like the plow was seven grand and the roller was well like something in the ballpark of 68 grand, 70 grand. Well, obviously, there is a reason for that because it is a huge one. There we go. So, we're going to have a look. We've got the Lizard 9MT, 43% damaged. And we've got the Lizard Comex 20 field roller. So, this is a 20 meter roller or mulcher. Currently, we've got the roller configuration on it, but mulching and grass rolling but yeah we'll come back to those later on we'll leave them here for now at the dealership there we go grab the fertilizer spreader because we need to fertilize these fields so let's head back and get those fertilized and there we go i'm starting the fertilizing and this shouldn't take too long and I will keep an eye on it this side to make sure we get the full application staying on. Because why you didn't do it last time, I have got no idea. But certainly one of those things in the future need to be considered. If it's a recurring issue, I'll look into it. But again, running this on multiplayer, so it could be a multiplayer thing. I got an idea, but. So, anyways, we'll get this up quickly. And then I think where we'll leave it for today.
go, a bit more work done, and we picked up some contracts, so on camera we did two scene contracts. No, we want to go left here. And off camera we've done, just about to complete, three bell contracts for silage. All go to the same cell point at the town store of bells. Yep, check them going the right way. So we got 336,000 litres of silage here. These are some bigger, more denser bells than what we're used to, and actually that has helped us. We just got enough on, so we'll go and get these unloaded. And we'll see how much money we can make from these. So we're at 26 and a half grand at the moment. Yeah, those seed contracts work quite well, especially on field 111. There we go. So what we need to do is unload these, like so. There we go. I'm selling these sassy bells. And look at that, back at 101 grand site is 75 grand just in slidage bells. That is a pretty good day. And we've got one more bane contract we can do. We'll do that before the next episode. So yeah, look at that money. We're back at 136 grand. And if we can pick up a few more slidage contracts like these, then yeah, we definitely start to get a new farm going. Because we're already seeing the baiter. This is a Ron 455 Uni Wrap SBC, Sexual Bell Capacity. And got the also the trailer to match. Because this doesn't have any straps on it. But I think on that note, that is where we'll end it today. So yeah. Next time. Ooh, is that a collectible there? I shall maybe go around and look for some of these collectibles. But yeah, so next time what we're going to do is... I think pretty much some more contract work. Hopefully we can get enough money in to start the farm up soon. If we get it done by... get the farm by May, June time. Actually if we pull over here, if we have a look in the prop candor. Yeah, around about May time, then that's when the last of the planting we can do for this year. Obviously, there's the winter crops now for next year, but I'm trying to think, we can get lint. Oh no, we can't do lint seed now. We can do winter lint seed. Right, we've already got field beans in. Alfalfa, perhaps, or sor things like sorghum, Alaska crop, soybeans, definitely, and even maize, corn for silage and that. But yeah, so, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, Hope you guys see, but for now, this is me Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.